All right, here we go. Question number 10 from our uh, college algebra homework number two in my lab math. We have uh, yet another rational equation that we need to solve. And what I would like to point out in this particular problem over here in my screen where I'm going to work stuff out is that we have only two fractions with an equal sign in between. And this particular setup where you have only two fractions with one equal sign, this is called a proportion. And the reason that's important to, to notice that this is a proportion is because there's a technique for solving a proportion. The way that you solve a proportion is you cross multiply. Okay? So what we can do if we realize that we have a proportion is we can take this, what I would call a shortcut, and just cross multiply. So we're going to have 5 times z minus 5 equals 4 times z plus 3. 5 times z minus 5 equals 4 times z plus 3. And notice what the cross multiply really does that's nice is it gets rid of the fractions. So now we have a new equation that we can solve with no fractions. Using the distributor property, that's going to give us 5z minus 25. Again, with the distributor property, we've got 4z plus 12. The 4z wants to come over to be with the 5z. And the negative 25, since it does not have a z, wants to move over to be with the 12. So that's going to give us 5z minus 4z. The negative 25 is negative, so when it moves, it becomes positive 25 plus 12. And then we're going to combine like terms. 5 minus 4 is 1z, which is just z. 25 and 12, that's 37. And that is done. Going back to the original problem, just to check and make sure that solution is valid, if I plug in the answer for either one of these z's, it will not make the denominator 0, and therefore 37 is valid. So let's check and see if we're right. 37, bam. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.